Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy CG here. I just want to do a video for you guys to let you know what's going on with the Bancor ICO. Um, I'm currently at the time of this video, I'm watching the Bancor ICO go on live right now, guys. And I gotta say, it's getting pretty frightening. <clears throat> um, you know, if you go to their website, it says massive attacks on our network, Ethereum blockchain under heavy pressure. Um, we are monitoring and all is well, but API can't update. Minimum time extended to three hours due to massive malicious attacks on network and resulting pending transactions bottleneck. So yeah, I mean, there you have it, guys. It was, it was only supposed to be an hour, and now it looks like the time got extended to three hours. That is uh, not not good because I, I went over to the ether the ether scan. And right now they've already raised a hundred and fifty million dollars, guys, <laughs> in ETH. That's how many ETH they raised, and at this price, you know, like that's that's pretty big, guys. Um, you know, I'm starting to think if this gets any bigger. I mean, at this price, we might be okay. I mean, you definitely have to expect some sort of sell off after the ICO is done. Um, so you know. You expect that to come but uh, I don't know if this is necessarily going to be the next Dow attack as some people are speculating because you got to remember at the time um, when Ethereum went through the first Dow attack the price of an ether was like close to $20 and right now and that put the market cap much lower I think it like the two billion dollar mark or something like that yeah it wasn't it wasn't stupid like it is now at 30 billion so obviously it's going to take a lot more to crash the price back down now we still have some time to go and if i see this price double to the 300 million dollar mark that's where i'd start to get concerned because um a lot of people are really excited about the price of ether going up and a lot of people are, are buying into the hype. <clears throat> and like I said, the, you know, Ethereum's a great project. There's no reason not to invest. But I'm just enjoying my gains at the moment. You know, I'm not buying anymore. I'm just sitting, I'm waiting, I'm watching. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, because right now there's too much craziness going on. And to buy at these prices, like I said, psychology thing. It's a psychology game. If, if something messes with, the Ethereum price in any way, I mean, who knows how far it drops back down. And, you know, you don't want to be, obviously, if you really do and believe in the project, of course, any time's a good time to buy. But I just want to make you guys aware of, just so you know, you know what I'm saying, that uh, the Ethereum price is, is impressive. And while I do think it's, it's not overvalued in the long run, I think currently it is a lot of speculation. And, you know, especially since we haven't moved to proof of stake, guys, I can't, I can't emphasize that enough. You know, we're, we're dealing with a huge network transition, which, you know, could result in a network split again. You know, if, if the miners don't come to a consensus or an agreement above that threshold that they need. Like, you know, and Vitalik seems to think that's not going to happen, and I tend to agree with him, and I think everything might go smooth. But it's a risk, guys. I mean, you're dealing with people here. You can have the best technology in the world. You can have the best everything in the world. But at the end of the day, you're dealing with human beings, and people are funny, you know? So I just wanted to tell you guys about that. Let me, let me refresh this page, see where we're at. All right, guys, so we're doing good. It looks like the amount of money going into the smart contract has slowed down a bit. I mean, we're only at $152 million in the past 10 minutes, which is roughly about $2 million, which isn't bad. Um, but like I said, you know, I'm just I'm keeping an eye on it and seeing what happens, see where we go from here, guys, because 
uh, you know, everything, everything, too, too much money in one concentrated place is never, it, it always increases volatility. You know, the more decentralized, the better. Um, I just want to check the Ethereum price real quick to see where we're at, what we're looking at. Parker at 3030. Sweet. Every this is a red, red day for the market. <laughs> Everything is red besides Ethereum and bit shares. Uh yeah. <laughs> this is interesting, guys. Super, super interesting. Even I seen the bat token was just getting murdered. Which is to be expected, honestly. Like I said, there's gonna there's there's people at the top just unloading their bags. They're going to pump the price up again. You know, that's why I say it, this might be a good buying opportunity just so you can catch that pump up and then sell, you know, once you get to like 24, 25 and then sell it and then, you know, watch it crash back down again because you got all these whales trying to unload all this bat token that they bought <laughs> and gave nobody else a piece. But hey, that's how the game goes, right? Um, yeah, so I just want to make this video for you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe um, so I can keep you guys up to date on what's going on in the cryptocurrency world, um, as well as follow me on Steemit. Um, I will be posting daily to there as well. All right, guys. Um, until next time, have a great day. And